Neither King George III nor President George Washington, or any other president for that matter, has issued or signed any kind of law prohibiting people from owning cannons. Now, I would be remiss not to mention that the British Crown did make it illegal for colonists to cast their own cannons while under the king's rule. To do so was deemed treasonous. But owning an already made cannon? Nope. No issue of treason there. Privately organized and funded artillery companies in the colonies dating all the way back to the 1630s prove this point. And a century later, in the 1740s, there are records of Benjamin Franklin helping organize artillery companies while stressing that they were made completely of volunteers and armed at their own expense. 